Good afternoon, guys. This is uh, just an update based on the recent Bitcoin move. Um, I just wanted to touch on this to highlight where I'm still seeing, what I'm actually seeing, and a couple of potential scenarios. So we've clearly had this conversation for a while. Um, I wasn't too happy in terms of the overall bullish move, as I've mentioned, um, this particular move in here was only three. I can actually see a five wave in here, which I didn't like. You know, with everything kind of said and done, let's assume we start from the bottom um, and we're moving up. So option one would be, this gives me my zero. This gives me the one back for a two, ultimately moving on up. And we can see some logic in this for potentially a three move up around here and therefore a four move back down. <sighs> Although this has come down and actually touched the exact level, I don't feel this is over. There's no clear ABC in this. There's no real corrective pattern overall. So I think we've had a, a massive fearful dump rather than something quite structural as a whole. So uh, I think for me, looking at this particular move, I'm going to be very surprised if we just literally jump back up. I think we're currently going to test the underside here. There's a lot of key resistance now that we've gone through this, which was support before the drop. It didn't really act as support at all on the move down. So I, I think there's just going to be a little bit of resistance now at these key levels. We've got the center of the channel up. Um, we've actually got this level here, which is liquidity going back uh, over to the left-hand side. Um, on some of the bigger time frames. So where we are at the moment in terms of this, I kind of feel that the scenarios go back to one of the videos I'd done a couple of days ago, um, talking about both bullish and bearish likelihoods. And I think the bearish move on the bigger time frame, being the monthly time frame, um, could actually still be on the cards. I think we have to zoom out. Uh, let me get rid of some of these. We have to zoom out as far as the weekly time frame at least to get some kind of handle in terms of where we are. So let's start off on the weekly time frame. And I'm just going to cover this one to start with. So if we look at the weekly time frame, the one thing that's still a little bit of confirmation, I guess, in terms of bearish sentiment is that we've got a stochastic being massively overbought. And the move on up, up this channel was actually moving up with declining volume rather than increasing volume. So big question mark in the overall move up. And therefore, it's more a question of was this the zero one one move? Was this the one to two? Is this actually the three and therefore four? I'd like to see it even go sideways a little bit further. Um, we might get a little dip down slightly further again before going back up. And the invalidation level of this move is not going to be um, until 36.5. So if we dip below 36, uh, 500 roughly, um, without being too precise, then it ultimately invalidates the full-on, full-out bullish move to the upside. Um, so again, it's just a question of trying to digest really what the potential scenarios and outcomes could actually be. So on the smaller time frames are going to come back uh, what we got here so on the smaller time frames you can see from the 3rd of september um i was actually looking for the move up to what i'd regard as the utad area we actually went a little bit higher um we are bitcoin so i i think overall nothing really surprising there um i clearly don't trade the fours i still feel that there's potential for us being inside the monthly four which is one of the reasons I really don't like the bottom move given the three wave move as well, in addition to the five wave counter move before ultimately moving on up. So this is one thing that, uh, yeah, really, really didn't feel comfortable in terms of a move up. So it's not as if I'm not ultimately bullish. It's just a question of knowing where we are in the actual time frame and knowing what time frame we are. And I think for me, the confusion is still here in terms of whether or not this is confirmation of a weekly three to four move, giving us the four to five move up from here, 
or whether ultimately we are still in the bearish larger monthly move three to four giving us an abc so um a couple of other things just to touch on before going back to the charts the total uh, market cap um, was something that I was actually looking at and posted this um, actually only this afternoon with a view of where we were likely to fall back down to. Now, my expectations on this was potentially another couple of weeks before we actually come down. So um, as you can see from the image before, I wasn't expecting that to be in 15 minutes. Um, so ultimately, you know, four or five hours before looking at this move down, taking us a couple of weeks. Uh, and we've actually just had majority of that move down. So I'd like to see a test back, like I said, around the 50% marker um, on the other chart. And I think maybe a little bit of sideways action. We might come back up, giving us an A, a B, back down for a C. But uh, yeah, we're just going to sit and wait at the moment to see where we are on that. So I think ultimately, if I kind of combine it all together and look at where we are, if we assume that the move up that we had was the three, the four was coming back down to this red liquidity box and we've clearly hit that, you know, to the pip uh, a little bit earlier on. So I think for me, the scenarios are still pretty much the same as I posted in the last video. I think the only thing that I can see at the moment is I've probably narrowed it down now to the two uh, likely scenarios rather than the three that I'd actually thought potentially were still on the table. So uh, I think scenario number one, is quite likely if we are bullish and assuming that we are bullish then this for me is the zero to one actually i'll draw this in it like this instead then ultimately it's this it's this it's this back down for a four i think like i said we're going to go sideways and then up for a five now the one thing that i guess i kind of like about this in terms of a move this is going to be a very very evil move in terms of composite man because regardless of the type of fib extension levels that you deploy we're actually only likely to see the five completion up just above the current all-time high so i think we're going to get a little bit of hype it might you know rally up a little bit more maybe 72k as i mentioned in the last video so i think if we do get this as a move and we are bullish i feel the bullish takes us to a monthly three which is here. That monthly three gives us a nice A, B, C move down. So that's kind of scenario one, which doesn't really look too good. I think overall that isn't, uh, you know, a trip to the moon just yet. And then I think the second scenario, which is still very likely in terms of a possibility, is we have to look and consider the stochastic indicator um, being massively massively overbought at the moment on the weekly time frame which means we've got although only still part of the same scenario we've actually got a bearish move down that could easily come a little bit deeper and like i said as long as we don't get that 36.5 but that's still going to be painful for a lot of retail investors right now and traders um now the second part and and, and the one that i guess is still on the table but maybe less likely at the moment until we can identify the overall character of the move down is the overall monthly move given us the abc patch so we'll just take these off a second you'll actually see um in this particular move here that we've actually had a move down zero to a potentially a move back up b as uh, a to b and therefore if we assume this level here currently as our b this currently as our a we're actually back down for a corrective move c which could easily come down and clear the lows collecting any form of liquidity underneath this so i think for me it's going to be the character when we get down around the 35 if we only go as far as you know 42 yeah maybe 42k which you know we nearly hit earlier on this afternoon then um I think you know once we invalidate that move as a potential move down and the stochastic is pointing you know north then i genuinely feel we're going to get a 65 to 72 000 move up and therefore we go into a monthly three to four bearish move 
as a whole. So best case scenario for the kind of the the upside is yeah seventy two thousand. Like I said, we might get a little bit of extra hype, but I think seventy two thousand and down. And then worst case scenario, if we are there for bearish still in this particular move, then I think revisiting under forty k is actually on the cards for then potentially a longer term buy. So in an ideal scenario for me personally, I'd like to see the move under 40K, that giving me confirmation that the ABC move is more the scenario and therefore a monthly four move coming in at the end of that wave would actually give me confidence to buy for the long, long haul, um, the move four to five on a monthly time frame. So that's currently what I'm seeing in terms of Bitcoin, I know for a few of the guys following, um, you know, I've been trading the Aussie dollar and the Euro dollar we've been chatting about within the Discord channel. Um, so basically on the Aussie dollar, um, I kind of feel that we are still in the one ultimately. So looking at this, this is a 12 hour time frame. Looking at the current uh, zero to one move up, I get the impression that we're currently, let me move across to the Aussie dollar. I get the impression that we still sat, uh, let me go across to this one and into the daily. I get the feeling that we're actually sat currently in the overall move. So again, the zero being down here, this will give me my one. And therefore, I think the micro move being just a four hour time frame down for some liquidity up to take out the high. And then ultimately this confirming our larger one. I'll be looking for the pullback too. I'd like to see the pullback too come as deep as this um, in terms of this particular move. So back into the imbalance and the sell before you buy uh, liquidity areas and then ultimately up. So um, yeah, I'm I'm kind of half tempted to take this move on a smaller time frame. It's been very, very respectful uh, to now. And therefore, again, just waiting for the character, waiting for that assessment. And if we take that, I'll probably write that four to five uh, before getting out pretty early as a whole. This is going to be a very small time frame move for me. Um, and then ultimately, I'll be looking to jump back in if we get this move back down. So let me just stick the stochastic on again. Uh, stochastic here. Uh, I've got two of them. <laughs> okay, so in terms of the stochastic, I think you know the move down is clear as day there. This has been very respectful all the way through this. Um, in terms of the weekly, I think we are still potentially moving up. So yeah, I'd like to say down to go up is really going to be the completion of five. That gives me my one on the bigger time frame, um, and then ultimately up and off we go. So uh, yeah, that's basically all I wanted to put out there today. Uh, I think it was more to do with the current move on Bitcoin that we've just seen. So I think you know nothing really untoward. It was kind of half expected. I was actually more surprised it kept grinding its way up the way that it did. Um, but it's clearly suckered in a lot of people. I've seen over a billion dollars of uh, liquidations in the last couple of hours. So uh, I think overall it was a move to be expected. And there's a lot of broken hearts out there. So uh, yeah, have a great rest of the week and uh, we will see you shortly. Thank you all for watching.